you slow mo. Ah, <laughs> perfect. <laughs> but before any of that. Roll, intro. Good morning, children. Right. Hi, Lindsay. Hi, Lindsay. Good morning. Well, it was a good morning until I just put my finger in some chicken poo. I'll show you, no. Um, from the southwest of France, here in the Chironte, um, region of France. Foggy today. What's foggy in French? Don't know. Don't like asking Google all the time. She gets, she gets annoyed. Um, not, not Google, Alexa. Right, a uh, bit of a mishmash day today. Sean's coming uh, with the car this morning because he's got a tow bar. Gonna take that trailer to uh to the Duchetterie. Duchetterie. Uh or the tip in England. What do you call a, what do you call the tip in, in America? Fun American fact. Earthing, like what we did yesterday, it's called grounding in America. Another fun French fact fact. Boom! Straight off, straight out of the gate this morning with a load of facts. I think it's a legal entitlement for every French person or every, any person living in France to have access to buy a baguette daily. It's the law. I'm sure if I've got that wrong, <laughs> somebody's gonna drop in straight, parachute straight into the uh, comments, but uh, yeah, let me know anyway. That's what I've heard, even on bank holidays. Anyway, going up to Angoulême today with Lisa. A bit of a date day. We're gonna go for an Indian uh, with Jack and Bex from, from growing in France. And, uh, yeah, that's exciting. We meant to go last week, but I thought I was coming down with something. Um, I didn't in the end, which is fortunate. I, I, I just had a, a Barry White type voice. Um, but anyway, right. So comments. I know that that tree stump is the launch pad for the hens. <laughs> and it's only the brown hens that jump out. Uh, although the, yeah, there is one it's still in there. I'm going to have to chop it down, aren't I? It's going to have to come in. Yeah, not today. We've got too much on. Um, so, the floor in Robbie's room. Sean got to the last part of laying the floor and then he wasn't happy with the level. He did some um, self-leveling compound back in December. Uh, but it, it, it just wasn't quite level enough. I think the laminate flooring is meant to be giving you like five mil worth of movement. And uh, I think this laminate flooring only gave two mil. So, it just it, it started to pop back up and uh, probably in a few months time it would have probably warped all the floor so uh yeah he's done he's done the honorable thing and uh, and re-leveled it and he's going to do the same with the um with the office as well yeah so thanks for all the comments uh, yeah the comments help actually um it helps with the youtube algorithm uh as do likes as do waves as to thumbs down um but watching to the end is the is the biggie if you watch to the end, then YouTube is I'm just going to keep pushing the pushing the video out to people. But um, yeah, oh, loads of decent comments about about the drone footage. Now, I'd completely forgotten because we came here in September. But th this area is well known for tournesol, which is French for uh, sunflowers. They grow loads around here. Massive industry, sunflower oil. So this area is stunning. It, it's stunning anyway, but it's. It's, it's a different type of, it's got a different type of majesty in the summer. So uh, I'll definitely be taking the drone up to give you some shots of uh, the sunflower fields. And uh, I'll obviously be taking my bike out, so I'll take my bike, bikes out to the different parts of uh, the Chironte. And uh, yeah, and I'll do that. Yeah, so I don't know whether the, the floor is going to be dry enough for Sean to be doing any, any more laying today. Um, yeah, so yeah, I don't know what he's going to be doing. I'm mostly going to be out anyway because we're going to be leaving here around about 11 o'clock. Um, then come back later on this afternoon, pick up the kids. Yeah, so uh, in terms of my involvement in anything, it's going to be very little. Apart from the tip run, I'll do that.
Right, Sean's in. Let's get a lifetime update from Sean. Morning, Sean. Good morning. Is that bad? Yeah, well. Ah. Uh -huh. Quite an undercoat one. Oh, that's a one. loft hatch. Yeah. What's loft hatch in French? No idea. <laughs> There'll be something access. Why was he? Uh, loft is. Um, oh, I didn't know what loft was. Loft is Grenier, I think. Grenier. Okay. It might even be La Plafond. L'Access la, de Plafond? I've got a feeling it's Grenier, but it might be wrong. Comments below, otherwise I'll ask Alexa again. Off to the tip, you're in for an absolute treat. Q slow mo. <laughs> Why are you going that way? Because that's the way I'm going, or something to go left. <laughs> I'm going to go the opposite way right. now, then. shoot it again. Right, we're going to do that again. <laughs> right. <laughs> Q slow mo. Nailed it. On Eva. When I think about the way we used to be, when I think about the things it took from me, I know that I am so much better. Better. When I look at what I've done, now that we're apart, when I look at what I've won, I've come so far. I know I'm so much better. cleansed after doing a tip run. I think I've just remembered what the Americans call it. Garbage dump, isn't it? Garbage dump. Right, so back from the tip. Uh, just about to go, to go up to Ungerlem. Do you want a veggie patch update? She'll show you. What have you got? Um, so what's new that's come through? Leeks are growing. Oh uh, yeah, yeah. The massive lettuces. Yeah. There, there. Cucumbers through. Oh, yeah. Rocket. Broccoli. Spring onion. So they're out as well. So yeah. onion out. Lettuce, cauliflower. Uh, marigolds down the bottom. Garlic, spare garlic for when we use the garlic from the garden. What's up? Is that munch too? That's munch too. Wow. That's coming through. But also my sunflower seeds. Oh. Um, the borage. For apple tree planted and apple trees are I think it'd be uh, helpful to explain how you grew the seeds. Um, <laughs> by researching on YouTube, well, you I put was putting the whole pit into the um, kitchen roll. Yeah. Wet, damp kitchen roll, and then packaging that up, putting it in a dark place, and it wasn't sprouting. But what you're meant to do is peel the seed first. Oh. And then 
wet it, put it into the kitchen roll, cover it up with a uh, plastic or put it into a plastic bag and then put it somewhere dark within four or five days. It's sprouted. Going to get up apples in a few weeks then, yeah? <laughs> yes. Yes. Oh. But then I did find all those seeds growing in the garden yesterday. So where the um, greenhouse fell over, over. it's... Um, I went over there, didn't pick all the seeds up, obviously, because I couldn't see them. And they had bedded themselves. It's not great. Yeah. So I've now put them into a random bed just to find out what they are. So they're growing. And then a load of monge too was growing over there. It roots itself into the grass. So I've picked that up, put it into the bed that the monge too will eventually go into. Yeah. Because I figured if it's growing out there without even being in soil in this climate, then it must. Huh? It must want to grow. Anyway, my arm's aching. We need to go get something to eat. Right, let's do that. <laughs> right, off to Anglem. Q slow mo. Nailed it. <laughs> Funny that. Right, so we're here in Angoulême with Jack and Bex from Growing in France. Link in the description. Q slow mo.